Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Mateo Lane Explains Gay Stereotypes. This is with Andrew Schultz, and I'm not sure the other gentleman, but it looks like it's a podcast, so let's see. I cannot understand for the life of me why gay dudes are like so fucking... Uh, you know, well put together, the outfit, the fucking body. There's like, I imagine this immense pressure. Like, whatever women talk about, like the oh, pressure yeah. that they have to be, the standards they have to keep. Right. Like, is it even crazier for gay dudes, right? Sure. Maybe. I mean, we don't have to compete, but you know sure, what I'm saying. Sure, sure, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> I love the burst of laughter. It's like, where is he going with this? also just like to point out the gentleman whose name i don't know he is in a stunning like what looks to be traditional garb of some like cultural garb the color is beautiful the fit is gorgeous and then i love that he has like jordans on with it like it feels like a very um formal piece of clothing it's just a, it's such a gorgeous piece I, i've never seen anything like it andrew's suit is also really nice mateo was like yeah and i was like whose voice is that at first i feel like when he gets on stage you know everyone uh embodies a persona when they get on stage and i think he really leans into that like flamboyant persona on stage which is hilarious so i don't mind it but his voice was a lot deeper his speaking voice uh, so I was a little caught off guard by that. But anyway, let's see what Andrew's about to say. Because I immediately burst into laughter when I realized they also burst into laughter. Because he took this, like, awkward pause. Like, he's about to say something possibly offensive. And then lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not trying to trash, but it, it, it's like Post Malone. Like, they're, they're Post just trying Malone. to be Post Malone. So, so and, I, and I don't understand the thing, right? Because when, when women are straight, they're pushing each other who can be skinnier, who can Seems be... Seems like the problem is men. Yes! <laughs> is that it? Let's be clear, not all women that identify as lesbian want to look like Post Malone. That was a gross, huge stereotype <laughs> that I think would offend a lot of women in that community. Um, but... I, Okay. All right. Let's see. Each other who can be skinnier, who can Seems be. Seems like the problem is men. Yes. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, I think so. So we keep women beautiful? Uh, I think. <laughs> I, or people beautiful? I feel, well, I feel like, first of all, there's like, there's many different sets of lesbians, right? Okay, so break, like, it, break, it down, the, break it down. The stereotype sets. of lesbians, of course, is like the, hi, my wife and I make our own water. You know, like the kind <laughs> of, like, just, just sort of like, you know what we're talking about. Like, <laughs> Am I wrong? Like Home Depot, like you know, like the stereotype. He literally looked around, like, "What is everybody laughing about?" I'm very serious. <laughs> I would like to speak on the topic of uh, men make women beautiful. Uh, I think a lot of times you hear like men, women do not like do all the p pampering that they do for themselves for you. Um, and I really, truly think that this is to each his own kind of situations because there are women who are they desire the attention from a male or you know they they are hoping to date so they want to go out and look nice or they want to look nice for their partner and there are women like myself <laughs> the amount of time and energy it takes to like really get dolled up i'm not interested in it and i'm confident enough in myself the way that god made me to just leave the house <laughs> I don't think it's ever been for anyone other than like, all right, I have to like show up to this event and like actually look like a human being. <laughs> so I think everyone is fueled by their own, you know, motivations is my point. Men and women, the, the, the desire to get dressed up and who they're doing it for. I think it really just depends on each person and their circumstances, situations and motivations. But that's my take on it. What we're talking about like... <laughs> We make our wrong. own water. Like, it's hilarious. Deep, like, you know, like the stereotype water. of a lesbian. Like, like I'm going to get shit done, you know. Artisanal lesbian water. They are. Well, lesbians, <laughs> you know, they go to bed and gays are just waking up. It's 4 p.m. It's just like, I. here's the thing, too. Like, gays and lesbians bed don't really change no matter where we go. I was I was just in Italy and okay. there was um there's one, there's one gay bar in Rome. And, they're you know, they're not very open about being gay in Italy. 
Yeah. And but of course, this one's called Coming Out, and Dude, it's next really? to the Coliseum. The yeah. gayest culture in America, in oh. the world, I feel like. Well, what's the funny gay, is the Italians, Italians. Yeah. They the look straight gay. Straight dudes in Italy just be acting the gay. No, they do. They sexually harass the women like crazy. Like uh, it's another But level. I look like I'm crushing points. pussy yeah. in Italy. Like that's a problem. <laughs> yes, you fit in. No one believes. Ma dove la tua ragazza? I'm like, oh no, I'm gay. Guy, you know, like yes, okay, I'm homosexual. You know, like Romans. Um, but I saw there was there we had a gay bar and and there there was a bubble machine they put outside this bar and that I will get them in. They, oh, <laughs> by the way, Italians. It'll get kids in too. Like, what do you mean that'll get them in? That'll reel all the children around in as well. Inside this bar, and that I will get them in. The, the, right? Oh, like by the way, Italians. <laughs> Tacky. So um, <laughs> tacky. these gays are trying to figure so it out. By the way, the gay the voice set? doesn't change in any language. With really? a gay accent in every language. So and it's the really. same gay accent. Certo, ma dai, ma perché non parliamo così dai? Yeah, it's every uh, Spanish to every who is accent. Who this walking? There's a gay, <laughs> there's a gay accent. So I want to. I want. I'm really curious about that. But finish this story. Oh, okay. so they're, they're trying to figure out this bubble machine is not working, and they're basically just mincing around this bubble machine, and nothing was happening. And then literally like 15 minutes later, a lesbian with a ladder came out, fixed it, <laughs> they celebrated. And I was like, this is so, like, we just don't, we're not, we're no different. Like any language culture, like <laughs> gays are the exact same. So, but anyways, lesbians, no, that's, I think that's a huge stereotype, but there's t like, there's like, you know, there's so many hot lesbian couples and ooh, it's ooh, uh, ooh, ooh. Sydney Washington is the hottest lesbian on the face of the Who's planet. Who's Oh my God, she's such a funny, do you know Sydney Washington? Oh yes, 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 yes. Super, yes, yes, super funny Sydney. comedian. Yeah, she's beautiful, she's super beautiful. funny, and she's like. I'm googling Sydney Washington. Not that I don't believe she's pretty. I just want context. Sydney Washington, comedian. Oh, she's really pretty. She looks like a friend of mine. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, and then girlfriend part popped up. So let's see. Oh yeah, they're both really pretty. All right. Understood. <laughs> Every time she FaceTimes me, she j I'm like, are you Mariah Carey? Like, yeah. she's just like gorgeous <laughs> yeah, with gorgeous yeah. hair. So I think it's just like an old stereotype. So that's an old trope. But also, too, there's not many, le like, lesbian bars that... There's one up the block. There's one up the block yeah. here? Yeah, and they're pulling up in Harleys and shit. Like, oh! they're, like, leaning in big to the stereotype. <laughs> Carl's <laughs> Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. the bar? That's the bar. <laughs> yeah. It's like a burger. Very, um, very popular. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They love a fast food spot, dude. Oh, oh my God! God. All, all of our West cups are... Oh, oh, my God, it closed down. I know, but that was, like, home. That was, like, Shredder's Lair for lesbians. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, that's, that was, like, the water. The stereotypes are overwhelming at this point, and I... <laughs> it's just, like... Oh my gosh. I've never even heard half these stereotypes, but golly. It was Shredder's Lair. Shredder's Lair. That's true. It did feel like a 90. That that was what? Did you see that video of that guy with the crowbar there? Oh, and like he was fighting. Yeah, there was like girls yelling, and then he like he was an employee, and he walked in the back and got a crowbar and just beat them. And I was like, yeah, that's just a Tuesday at that McDonald's. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no what deal. is it about it's that like, McDonald's? It's like a nice neighborhood, like bro. trendy. It's too many drunk people. It's just oh, everybody gets drunk, and yeah. then you're drunk at three in the morning. You're gonna go to McDonald's. That'll do it. Trash human beings. And it's at close McDonald's. to like that'll do it. Like old historic gay neighborhood. Right? Sure, the West Village. Yeah. Stonewall. But is that like, is that almost like, um, like Times Square for gay neighborhoods now? Like, is it almost <laughs> like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, just wait. Meaning it's like touristy. Square for gay neighborhoods now? Like, is it almost <laughs> like, 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 you know what I mean? Like, just way less of a budget. Yeah. yeah you know, but like, if a gay guy was like, let's go out on a date, like over on Christopher Street, you'd be like, oh, that's adorable. Should we go to Applebee's? Like, yeah. <laughs> Are you I, new to this? Yeah. <laughs> this guy just came out. Yeah. yeah, I guess so. I don't know. I don't. It was so funny as I don't go out anymore. Like really? I don't. No, I just do shows and play Fortnite. That's it. You play like, Fortnite. So not a, like the typical fag. Like I. I he and, dropped it. I, <laughs> he dropped it. Hey, we don't get it. Don't blur him out. <laughs> yeah. But, go on. but no, I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I I know I look a certain way, but I'm really just like at home listening to Sarah Vaughn playing Call of Duty or. You know, I'm not very like going out. All right. I did not mean to press that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I just ended there. Um, it was funny. It was a funny conversation to be had by those three individuals.
I, I don't have a lot to offer because I like am not a part of that community, but I do think that the stereotypes were like running wild, that they were unleashed in that room just now. I really enjoy Mateo. I think he's super authentic. He's very funny and uh, he has a great personality. I really think I like he's like one of my top favorites that I've uh, learned here on this channel. All right, y'all go and have the day you deserve. Peace.